continuing on with our football series and I'm going to be sharing with you guys some awesome DIYs and party decor for your football party. Party decorations can be a little bit pricey so I am showing you guys how to make your own decorations on a budget and the majority of the items are actually printed from your computer so one of the main things that you are going to need is a computer and a printer and once you print your items then you can go ahead and get started. So for this first DIY I'm actually going to be teaching you guys how to make these adorable paper football figurines. So if you guys are interested in learning how to make these guys and a few other decorations then keep watching. So I already printed the football player images that I wanted on cardstock. I use cardstock and not regular printed paper. It's a lot sturdier and it'll help the football player actually stand up and stay together. So once I printed it out, I'm going to go ahead and use black cardstock for the back. I like to use binder clips because it keeps the image together. It prevents the paper from moving. Once you have all of your images clipped and ready to go, you can go ahead and start cutting out your images. <laughs> The back image is coming out exactly as the front. All right, so once you cut out all of your images, you can go ahead and remove those binder clips and your silhouette in the back is the exact same shape as your image. <laughs> to make our images stand what I'm going to be using are shish kebabs and I'm basically going to glue the image onto the shish kebab cutting off any of the remainder part of the stick once I glue on the front image to the shish kebab I'm going to turn the image over and glue on the back and what I'm going to be using as a base to hold our shish kebab are these little squares that my husband cut out of wood and we pre-drilled a hole and as you can see once you stick it in the shish kebab stands so our image should be able to stand once it's glued on. Once that is glued on, the excess that's here, I'm going to take my scissors and just cut that off. And he's actually able to stand, but because I want it to look a little bit cleaner, I'm going to go ahead and glue on the silhouette on the back. It's also going to make it a little bit sturdier. Once it's all glued together, you can go ahead and attach it to your base. Your football players can actually be any size and it doesn't have to be the full body. This is an example of just half the body. For this next DIY, it's how to decorate your water bottle. These images that I found off of Google, they were free. Basically what we're going to do is cut these different strips and wrap the sleeve around our water bottle. This would also make cute cupcake liners. So you can wrap this around your cupcake the same way that we're going to wrap it around our water bottle. So once you cut out your sleeves, we're going to go ahead and start wrapping our water bottle. Just grab a piece of tape and attach them together. And just like that, you have a super cute sleeve for your football party. 
Next water bottle is going to be the referee one. So all you have to do, same as the other one, is cut this out. Wrap it around the water bottle. And where the sleeves meet, add your piece of tape. For this next DIY, we're going to be making our very own Lombardi trophy. For this DIY, we're going to need a plastic vase. I picked this one up from the Dollar Tree. I also picked up this foam football from the Dollar Tree, and you need a foam football for this DIY. I'm gonna show you why in a minute. And we're also going to need some silver spray paint. So the reason why we need a foam football is because we're actually going to be carving out the back because we want the football to be on a slant. So first we're going to start by turning our vase sideways and also our football and kind of measuring with our eye where we're going to carve out the football. Once you feel like it's at the perfect angle, you're gonna go ahead with your X-Acto knife, holding your football in place, you're gonna go ahead and make a slight mark. You're going to go ahead and carve out a small piece or a rectangle from your football. You can just poke it just to make sure that you've cut out those foam spots. And with your thumb, we're just going to go ahead and take out that foam. And it should look something like this. Then you're gonna have to try it out a few times. So like this, I went ahead. I want it to look slanted from the front. Now using our glue gun, we're gonna go ahead and put some glue within that foam and then attach it to our vase. I'm just gonna hold it here for a while just to make sure that the football adheres nicely to the base. Once your football is glued onto your vase, next we're gonna go ahead and spray paint it. I'm going to be using Rust-Oleum in the color Metallic Aluminum. And here's how our DIY Lombardi Trophy looks, and it honestly costs less than $5 to make. Perfect for our football party. Next DIY or idea is how to make a cute utensil holder for your silverware. So I already drew a field goal post and I'm gonna go ahead and cut this out. I also cut out some images that I printed from Google. So this football, this Patriots banner, and some paper foam fingers. So basically what we're going to do is repeat the same steps as we did for our football players in the beginning of the video. Once I cut out and glued all of my pictures, I'm going to go ahead and start assembling them within my... Once I have the layout that I like, I feel like it's time to add some turf. And for the turf, I'm going to be using some cardstock. So I'm just going to take my cardstock, do a slight crease, fold it up, and then with my scissors, I'm going to cut that piece off. And we're gonna save this piece because we're going to add it towards the front. I'm gonna start making my grass. I'm just gonna do a bunch of cuts throughout. like I have enough cuts and I'm going to go ahead and start bending forward and backwards those pieces now I'm going to go ahead and insert it towards the back I want to do another layer for the front so we're going to do the same thing as we did for the back and then we're just going to insert this towards the front all that's left is to insert your silverware so you could just stick your spoons and forks and knives right in there and you have an adorable utensil or silverware holder for your football party. Next DIY 
DIY is how to make some artwork for your football party. So all I'm using is some acrylic paint, a paintbrush, and a black poster board. I'm going to draw some football plays, and it's super simple. It's basically a ton of like circles and X's. Circles, and it doesn't have to be perfect because you kind of want it to look almost as if it were like a chalkboard. And I'm gonna go ahead and draw on some X's. And now add maybe an arrow, another arrow. And once you finish painting, just set it off to the side to dry. And once it's dry, we're gonna go ahead and frame it. going to be making a small banner for our bar cart and again we're going to be using these images that are printed so I printed two footballs and a Patriots football helmet and you're also going to need a hole puncher and string of your choice I'm going to be using this twine go ahead and cut these out once you have your three pieces cut out now it's time to punch holes through them and once your banner is done it should look like this enjoyed it comment down below what was your favorite part or what DIY you would actually be willing to try also send us pictures to our Instagram we are also him and her homemade on Instagram and make sure to subscribe once again if you already haven't and I will see you guys next time bye before you go if you want to see more of our videos click one of these guys over here to see more content